For this exercise, we'll be working with the customer's collection to further modify the query that we've built in the last exercise. In the Query section of the Visual Query Builder, click the Delete button located on the right side of the operator's drop-down lists. Studio 3T will just remove the Query section's search conditions, but the Projection section will remain untouched. Now, select the Match All of Dollar and option from the drop-down list. When you select this option, Studio 3T removes the array drop-down list. Next, click the Add and or group link near the bottom right corner. A subsection opens for defining the dollar and operator's first search condition. In this new subsection, select has array elements matching from the drop-down list. Again, the array drop-down list is added to the top of the subsection. There, select the interests field. Click the plus icon in the box at the bottom of the subsection. The form will expand to include options for defining the search condition. In the first drop-down list, ensure that array element is selected, and in the second drop-down list, ensure equals is selected. In the text box, next to where it lists string, type database. Now in the box, just beneath the subsection we just configured, click the add and or group link. And in the new subsection, select has array elements matching from the drop-down list. From the array drop-down list, select the interest field. In the same subsection, click the plus icon. The subsection will expand to include options for defining the second search condition. Now, in the first drop-down list there, again ensure that array element is selected, and in the second drop-down list that equals is selected. In the text box beneath, next to string, type web design. And from the previous exercise, the projection section still specifies last and interest fields. Now click Run. In the main window of the Customs Collection tab, ensure that the Result tab is selected. The query should return only two rows. Now go to the Query Code tab and view the Mongo shell code. It should look similar to the one of the find statements that you created in the first exercise, as shown in the following figure. Close Studio 3T now.